So I bought a frame right before I left at Abraham. So I'm here to pick it up. I'm not supposed to be shopping. I'm not in the shopping mode, but you never know. Sometimes she's got amazing things in there. So just in case I'm gonna film, maybe we'll find something amazing. But at the minimum, I'm getting my frame that she's been holding for me for over a month. got the rest of these up front but not 25% off today making them $15.50 for the set look at that gorgeous cabinet for $3.99 oh coasters yes nice I like those and I also spotted this. are so cool they would be 75 a piece though so a little more than I would want to spend I know what this is this is for little toothpicks for appetizers But look at these, these are fabulous. So they just pulled these out of an estate. And of course they're dirty, because like Tina said, people stopped cleaning in 1962. <laughs> and then look at these, these are so cute. And That's those are- Very cool too. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. That is really cool. This is cooler. But that's pretty yeah. cool too for Christmas, right? This is really cool. I don't know. How, I don't know if people are buying these anymore. I sell it like crazy. Do you? When, when this goes up, this will probably be gone within five or ten seconds. We have the service. The yeah. Dollar, how much are these? How much is this one? I'm gonna ask fifteen, and a dealer will put forty-five on it, and they'll make thirty pounds. I'll take it. You want? Yeah. Okay, fifteen. All right, I got some really cool things that you saw in the video. And so I'm not gonna show you everything I got because you already saw. But I got this frame. This is almost probably European, um, Flemish maybe, but it's that same kind of chip art from the Dutch foot warmer. So it looks like tramp art. It's the original tramp art. And it even has like this old picture in it. I paid $20 for this before I left. And this is what I was picking up. All right, next up, she pulled this out from the back. She knew I would love it. And I absolutely do. It is incredible. But it is, and it is also really dirty. <laughs> but it is this incredible wood purse 
with this leather handle. It is in pristine condition. It just needs some wood oil on it, but it is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at all that fine detail on it. So good. I paid up for this. I definitely did. I paid $20. And honestly, I do collect vintage purses. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or actually list it online. But I was really thrilled to pick it up, even at $20. Bettina is a really good salesperson. I we totally sell a lot of barware, but it's been a long time since I've picked anything like this up. But it's a drinks pitcher, definitely mid-century modern. This was also like behind the counter, not having been put out yet. I did pay $15 for it and this, but it does have a date, 1957, and I do love the colorway on it. So for $15, it's going to the store and I think it'll look really good on our bar cart display. So I really want to go over some sold items with you just to share. So let's start with this little bamboo stool. This stool is not very big. As you see, it's actually on a table. This is just a desk link behind it. I'm going to say it's probably maybe like 15 inches. Probably have the... Yeah, it's 11 inches tall, so not very big. But these are really hot right now. These vintage burnt bamboo tortoiseshell um, plant stands. And you see this one sold for $125. It's not the first one I have sold, so that's pretty exciting. Now I'm constantly on the hunt for these. The next item is this really cute lamp with this bark cloth lampshade. I found the lampshade first. I can even remember where. I'm sure I featured it in a previous video. And then it took a few months before I actually found the lamp to match it. I thought it was a great match and it sold for $69. Did not take very long to sell at all. And then this one is even tinier. This little tiny stand is only eight and a half inches tall. It is very small. Somebody in Texas bought it for their friend as a gift in Florida. So I just shipped this out this last week. And this one I sold for $73. The next item is a ginger jar. Ginger jars do really well online. They're, they don't always sell like super fast, but they always sell. I absolutely loved this one with this green color and these beautiful butterflies. And it sold for $58. The next item is this gorgeous gold brass mirror from the 70s still had its tag on it i actually had two of them and they were just slightly different these are only 14 inches tall they were really easy to ship and the buyer actually bought both of them so she bought this one and the second one that matched it the next item is this little organizer. I love these. I always check the sewing rooms at estate sales. Probably paid less than $5. This was not a fast sale though. This probably took over a year to sell, but it did finally sell for $43. And then I always love a good textile. I bought this at the Bainbridge Rummage Sale. It's really beautiful. It's really colorful. And it sold for $33. And then this one, this is actually a book I bought at an estate sale, probably for $5 or under. It was not in perfect condition, but I had time that day to look it up and I could already see that it was valuable when I was there. It was in really rough shape and the spine was coming off and it still sold for $98. The next item is this 
painting of this deer. It's rather an amateurish painting, but it was done in 1969 and it's signed and people just love that. So it really has kind of a kitschy look to it. It was on a board, so it was really easy to ship. And I'm going to say I also had this for probably about eight or nine months before it actually sold. So not a super fast sale. Um, and it sold for $48. These took almost a year and a half, if not more, to sell. I was really surprised about that because they're really beautiful and they were very large and they still had their original packaging. And it was a set of two for $135, but they just sold, I think, in August. And so they got shipped out not even close to Christmas, but people buy Christmas all year around. And then the next item is this set of six vintage transferware crown ducal pink and red Bristol pattern bread and butter plates. So these are not very large and I probably paid less than $5 for the whole set. And I typically don't put a lot of like plates like these online unless they are a good set. So there was six of these and a good pattern. And so these sold for $65 and they were actually not that hard to ship. So that's it for what sold. Just wanted to share that with you and then let's get back to the video. So that's it for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting yourself, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you, that you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video.